What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I promise this is gonna be my last keyboard video for a while. It has been a lot of keyboard stuff, mainly because I've been trying to find the right one. Not really sure if I actually did, but this is what we're gonna roll with for now. Uh, so the two keyboards I have here that I'm gonna compare are very common layouts in that we have a 60%. So basically what it is, there's no numpad, there's no function row. There's also no keys over here on the side. So you don't have like your page up, page down, delete. Uh, usually there's another key here and you do not have your arrow keys, which are very important, especially if you're doing anything specific, which I will talk about after I kind of get you an idea of what you get. So again, this is a 60% board. This is a Ducky, Ducky Mecha Mini. There's all kinds of different ones out there. You got the Vortex Poker, you have all kinds of different keyboards that uh, do 60% now. And this is a very popular layout for gaming. Mainly because what it does is it allows you to have more desk room. So if you're doing it like this, or you can tilt it sideways, uh, you actually have a whole lot more mouse space. And let's say if you had 100% keyboard, which is going to be probably like that. So it would be both these boards basically that length. So you would run up into and run into that. So putting it actually like this, you actually have a lot more flexibility to... Uh, game if you don't do any type of gaming i honestly don't think these boards are that beneficial unless you're doing a ton of traveling and you just want the compactness of it or you like the size uh, but if you use your arrow keys a lot that's where it can come into play so the 65 percent keyboard there's many different varieties of this ducky does uh their maya maya pro their panda and their c1 and their forest one are laid out a little different in that they have these more in a rectangle over here and then these are kind of spaced out from this uh, which I, I really actually like that the problem is is trying to find keycaps that actually uh, fit well with that that's another thing to mention with this this actual layout again this is a ducky board but you see the shift key here is actually different size than your standard shift key i believe it's a 1.75 and this is a two point something i'm not really sure what the the differences in size is or those numbers, but it is a smaller size uh, shift key. So you will actually have to get some type of specialty uh, keycap for that. A lot of keycaps, a lot of ducky keycaps, um, like their uh, frozen one, their uh, one they have for that, their llama one does not have that space bar or that shift key with it. So keep that in mind. So this is a layout I actually prefer if you're doing any type of productivity. So if you're in Excel a lot, photo editing, video editing, things like that. I added a bunch of our new baby photos uh, with uh, this keyboard, and it was a pain to do because I was just missing those arrows, arrow keys. So I'd use the mouse, or I had to... I do have it set up where you can hit the, the caps and then go through and filter through it that way, but it was just way more time than I uh, preferred to spend on and I actually like this size a little bit better uh, mainly just for that because I use the delete key and I use the arrow keys all the time now if I did not actually use those I actually think that the 60% board would be beneficial if uh, you again were just typing in gaming and you did not need those arrow keys but that's really it the size is very similar so I wouldn't purchase the 60% just to save an extra what, maybe half an inch? Maybe not even that. There's not a whole lot of space there. Uh, you're not really saving. You're actually just saving, looks like what would be just one one more row of keycaps. So that's it. Uh, again, I don't think you're saving that much space. I would go ahead and get the actual 65%. Now, as for these two specific keyboards, the SF, uh, Ducky 1, 2, SF, whatever you want to call it, and the Ducky Mecha Mini. This one obviously is way better built. It's made out of metal, uh, some type of metal product, probably aluminum. Uh, and it is just overall a much better built keyboard. You do have your actual feet here, which are nice. But again, this is just a much... What it's, the build quality is just a whole lot better on this. It feels a whole lot more stable. Whereas this does have some flex to it. And actually the keys do sound a tad bit different. These are blue switches, but uh, there's tons of things that can play a role in that. They could be using different uh, different type of lube on it, or they could have lubed it differently, or this could be, these could be lube, these could not be. Uh, they could use different stabilizers. I assume the Ducky uses the same stabilizers on all the keyboard, but I'm not 100% positive. So that's it. That is my quick overview of these two layouts. 
nothing that's too special or standard or anything different out there. Again, I prefer the 65 because I need those arrow keys. So that's it, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to give this a like, and I will try to get more random stuff like this out. Hopefully, this is my last keyboard review for a while. Uh, thanks again, everyone, and have a good rest of the weekend. See you guys next time.